What's going on guys? So a lot of people have been asking me stuff relevant to EMUs with Cloud thanks to my newest videos. Stuff mainly, the question I'm going to be addressing today is how do I get my knobs to work for Sound Voltex EMUs with Cloud? Now, I'm going to keep this stern at the beginning of this video that this tutorial is strictly only for people with DAO controllers. Stuff like Simple Edition 5 and Real Edition 9, this will work for it. If it is a Verker Turbocharger, for instance, Turbocharger Plus, or any other type of controller that's... You know, there's a bunch of others out there, I just can't name them. This will probably not work for it. it these, um, this one only currently works for DAO's controllers, simply because it does X and Y axis. And I believe Turbocharger actually has a button on the side where you can change that to um, X and Y axis instead of analog input. So that may work for you. But to actually bind the buttons for the Virgo Turbocharger, you're going to need to have joy to key and then make them you know, whatever the fuck you want to make them, and then just bind them to the program and make it work. But let's actually get to the tutorial today and show you guys how to bind your knobs. So first things first, you're going to want to go into your settings. As soon as you load up the launcher, there'll be a settings tab in pure English. There's going to be nothing to it, and you'll load up with this screen. Now, the first option here is just resolution settings. You know, you can change it to whatever your, you know, like whatever your fancy is. And here we have all the key configurations. Now, these you can probably figure out on yourself, A, B, C, D, F, X, L and FXR, and it actually lights up to show you which one is corresponding to which. Now, the thing about it is that knobs actually go by keyboard input. So you could play this on a keyboard technically if you would like to, but I don't, because I have a fucking controller. So QWOP, that's exactly where you're going to make these binds, QWOP in order. Why am I going to need to do that? Because you're going to be using a script to do this. This is a program called GlovePie. This was discovered by XFly. Thank you very much for this, and it's been helping a lot of people. This program, you can put in this script specifically, and as soon as you decide to, like, you know, press the script, or to start it, press F9, it will automatically start doing the inputs on analog, or, you know, XY mouse input, whenever you turn the knob. And it doesn't actually do these inputs just in general, because it doesn't detect the XY axis signal. It will only detect these keyboard inputs. Now, you can stop the script by holding Shift PIE at the same exact time. Now, we're going to show you how do you know it's actually working. I have Emus McCloud loaded up right here, I, I think, if it wants to actually work. Now, it's actually being very slow because I think I'm recording, so let me go ahead and show you guys just a little bit of the gist of this. So, as soon as you get into the menu, if you hear a little whooshy sound when you turn the knobs, that means that they're working. So, let's take a look real quick. Oh, yeah, I'm there. I have to activate the script real quick, hold on. <laughs> Anyways, that should be about it. I hope this helps some people. Hopefully, you know, if, if anyone else finds a different guide or, like, a better tutorial for stuff with Virgo Turbochargers, please feel free to share that information amongst other people. Some knowledge would be very much appreciated for this kind of stuff. But anyway, I hope I help you guys out today. Make sure to like, leave a like. Thank you for watching.